$1,000. Helpful for life. All right, tomatoes. These are some delicious things, let me tell you. Whether you have it on a BLT, or in our case, we're gonna put it into a pico. It's a very versatile fruit, although some people classify it as a vegetable. Uh, you know, tomato sauces, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. But for today, let's talk about how to cut a tomato. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off the, the tail end and the top end. Now, this is a little bit of waste. You can eat it if you want. It's still good, but the main thing you're trying to avoid is the stem here. And you can actually just cut off the stem by itself if you'd like to be a little less wasteful. And then you still have this good tomato that you can eat. Mm. Anyways, so you have the tomato, then you're just going to hold it with one hand and you're just gonna slice it like this. Now, if you're gonna serve this with some mozzarella and, and basil and like a nice caprese salad, this is where you could stop with sliced tomatoes or the BLT or hamburger or something like that. Um, but for us, we're gonna be doing a dice. So you can do it all in one stack if you want, or if it's easier, do two stacks and put the bigger side down, give it a little more stability. Um, but we'll just go ahead and do one stack. So you're gonna cut it in strips like this. And again, be careful with your thumb. That's the main thing in risk. And you may have to switch your grip up when you get to the tail end. And just kind of align it to where they're all the same, uh, going the same way. And then I turn them and then just run the knife through that same pinch and curl and that same rocking motion. And we end up with a nice little dice there. So sometimes when people are cooking with tomatoes though, they don't want all of the, the membrane, all of the watery seeds because it adds a lot of water. So what, what you can do with that case is kind of uh, like the bell pepper we cut up, you can actually cut that membrane and those seeds out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut straight through the middle, through the root, and then we'll just go ahead and cut these into wedges. And then you just take one of these tomatoes and you're gonna have it face up to where the membrane's facing you. And you could take a spoon and scoop it out or you can just take your knife and just kind of skim out the membrane. So this is the juicy thing. So that's the part that a lot of people like to leave out of certain recipes. And you can, if you have some extra to scrape out, you can scrape it out with a spoon. And then what you would do is you would dice it as if you want to slice or dice it, turn it skin side up. And then just give it a nice little dice. And there you have it. And so this is a little less watery. Um, so depending on what you're cooking, you may or may not want to include it. For the Pico, we like to include it. But that's how you dice a tomato. Enjoy.